Today we are going to learn how we can transfer a data from one page to another page. This will provide us ability to use all kind of data in all pages. I will introduce page parameter first. First of all, you need to give a name your parameters and it can't be blank. Secondly, we will decide which type parameters would you like to transfer. There are many types, image path, strings, video path, booleans, etc. We will focus documents more because it's considered many types inside of it and also we need this data for our list view query. But I wanna suggest you to check my story page video because you will see how you can transfer uploaded media to another page. You will see an example about using of image path type. Now I want to show you how you can transfer documents with reference. Choose an element on page. For example, you want to transfer an user's data to another page with user's information. How you will do? Select element. Click Actions, Add Action, choose Navigate to, and the page. You will see the parameter section under Part. Now we will define the parameters for this page. Click Define. You see it take us to another page, because this page doesn't have any parameter before. If the page had, it could show us Pass button under Part. Anyway, let's define parameter for this page. Click Add Parameter. Give it a name. Type will be Document Reference. Choose Collection which you will use these informations on this page. In this case, we will use User Informations on the page. So I choose User Collection. We have just defined our parameter. Ok great, now time to pass reference the collection. I should explain that if you use reference for a collection, it must be same collection which you refer, even it is on another collection. Let me explain. Let's say we have a post. We collect all data of post in this collection, but we want to transfer post owners information to another page. Well, you must also have a field in post collection which will refer user collection. This will help you to refer it to another page. Ok, click pass. Choose parameter name. Click value. Find user ref in post document. Confirm it and that's it. Now how you can get these informations at page. Choose scaffold. Click backend query. Add backend query. Query type will be document from reference. This type will provide us to take collection documents which is referred from other pages. Choose the collection. In this case, we want post owner's information so I select user. For value, we will choose page parameter. So choose the parameter name. So that's it. We transferred the collection to another page. You can set all values easily now. If you like this video, please like button. This will help me to reach more people and I can continue to bring new videos about Flutter Flow. If you want to support my works, you can check description for my links. Please subscribe to channel and join our community. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.